everybody, it's Chloe Demir of Save the Victory Roll. Today we have a fun one. We've got the Sugar Drizzle Cosmetics um, Pickle Palette. So this is, yeah, let's see what it says on the cover. It says, paint me green and call me a pickle because I'm done dealing with you. And it's their little eyeshadow palette. And then it has the same on the outside. And then when you open it, it has mirror, one of these plastics, and then these are the colors here. So we've got fried pickles, pickle juice, dill pickle, Dr. Pickles, In a Pickle, and Tickle My Pickle. And I think that these two colors, their names should have been reversed and the same thing with these two. But not my palette, not my naming protocol, but there we go. And then I did some quick swatches. I was gonna try and do them live, but I am so bad at it. So I just did the top row on this arm. Oh, see, I tell you, it's so hard. <laughs> so that was the fried pickle, pickle juice and dill pickles. And then on this arm, we've got Dr. Pickles, In a Pickle, and Tickle My Pickle. Yeah, it's easier when I just film these using my iPhone, but there we go. We'll just see what they look like on the eye. So I've got everything else done on my face today. I managed to get a hold of the NYX Sweet Cheeks in Yellow, the matte. So I've got the matte blush on in yellow. I of course have my solar sailor that goes beautifully with it. And then my um, pumpkin lipstick from Fenty. And I have LYS Beauty foundation on my face. So let's get to the eyeballs. I think what we're going to do is we're going to prime with a little bit of the Kaleidos Tone Activated Primer. So now I've tried playing a little bit with my lights today. So I have my camera on a different setup and then I have my lights at an angle. So I'm going to see if that is going to be helpful today. I may still need to play with a little bit more, but I think so far it's been a little bit better than the problems I've been having usually. So, so let's just go and then on each eye put on our, our primer. I haven't had any idea of what we're going to do today, but this is just a first impressions, first look at this beautiful little palette. I believe it was $24.95 US and actually the shipping wasn't bad. It was, I want to say $10 or was it $7? Um, if I remember, I will post it on the screen. That was definitely not too bad for an indie brand. I was gonna try and get the Blend Bunny one today, but the cheapest option, which they don't recommend because of the issues with USPS, was $20 and it would have been even way more with DHL. So I'm going to have to this go around to give that one a little bit of a miss. So there we go, we've got our eyes all primed and then now let's play with the palette. So I've been having fun playing with these Morphe brushes um, they don't have, they have names on them. I don't think they do or numbers. So they're just from the Morphe Pride set that I got part of the sale. I've got a whack of their other Jaclyn Hill brushes that I want to try out. So I may do a video just to get ready with me playing with those brushes. But for now, we are having fun with our pickle palette. And again, these are the colors that we're working with. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take Dr. Pickle and I'm gonna put that on the outer edge of my eyes. And then I'm just going to use this like packing brush. And yeah, so let's start with that. And that's a beautiful Kelly green. And of course, if you know me at all or watch any of my videos or watch Green Week, you know that I love green eyeshadow. It's my favorite of all eyeshadow colors, and it's hard for me not to buy any palettes that aren't predominantly green. So I'm just going to place it on the outer corner, and then we'll try. We'll do a little bit of a blend. But let's just. So at the moment, this is going on really nicely, and then yeah, we did about half. So let's do the same on the other side. And then, oops, just wanna give it some room to blend, of course, because we like to, since we have hooded eyes, to bring it just above our mobile lid. 
Yeah, this is nice and pigmented. I've not bought anything from them before. This is the brand that has those really fun multi multi-chrome liners. I wanted to get some of those, but I think there was a little bit of a hiccup on the webpage because when I went to add one of those, it doubled my shipping. So I think they just had some kind of little hiccup on release day. So maybe in the future I will try again. But for now, this palette, which was really what I was going for, is all that I need. So now I'm going to take um, this little blending, little, this floofy brush, and then we're going to blend it out. It has no additional product on it, just for us to give a blend and then see how these blend out. We're definitely not blending out to nothing, so that's a good sign. They are definitely sticking really well. Not too bad. I'm just gonna go grab my Lini Uber, a little bit of a close-up mirror, and so I can see this a little bit better up close to see how the blend is looking. Okay, we're going to have to add a little bit more color. Just not on both eyes, but on the one eye it did balled out a little bit, but it could be too because I was a little bit rough on my blending. So let's just pop in a little bit more color. So again, like I said, this is our first attempt at it and a first look. We'll definitely play with this some more. Maybe this is the one we'll use for my get ready with me. So now we've got the green. Now I think what I want to do is take a little bit of Tickle My Pickle and put that up front and then we'll put a shimmer on top, which will probably be the fried pickle. So we're gonna stick mostly green, surprise. I mean, that's basically the choices. And then there's a purple and a pink, but I think I will use the, the dill pickles, which is the pink one in the inner corner. So I'm going to now take um, it's a fluffy brush as well, but it is not as fluffy as the other one. And then we're going to go into Tickle My Pickle. And then we're going to do that for the front portion of the eye here. Oh, this one's really pretty. I like this color. Look at that. It's gonna have a little duo look eyes. Oh yeah, this is really pretty. I really like this a lot. Yes. Nice. This is great. All right, so I'm gonna again take that same um, floofy brush. That one, oh, maybe it's a different one, but also has no product on it. And then let's just go and do a blendy blendy in the top here. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit more of that dark green Dr. Pickles. Intensify it up a little bit. And then one more blend. I'm gonna use this slightly less, the one that I used the other color on. Still getting a little bit more. It does seem to not blend away, but lighten quite a bit. So you definitely wanna be careful with your blending. So if you wanna keep this, the color payoff, because this is such a pretty combo for sure. All right, so I didn't bring up any glitter glue because I just wanted to try and see how the, the shimmers work just using my favorite spray. So, yeah, I think that looks okay. Um, actually, a little bit more blend on the middle on this eye here, I'm seeing a line. So let's... There we go, that's better. Okay, 
So now I'm going to, what brush should I take? Yeah, so I'm going to take this brush here um, from, uh, who is this from? Jessup. So it's a 233. And then I'm going to go into, let's go to, into In a Pickle on the bottom. So we're going to gently go into there. Get some on our brush, give it a little bit of a spray, and let's see how that does. Hmm, that's pretty. Okay, let's do a little bit more for the other eye. They're not, it's not super soft, but it's not super hard either. So I would still be a little careful with putting the brush in. They're not as soft as the menagerie ones where you really have to be gentle, but definitely don't dig away. We're getting some nice color payoff here. So this is very pretty. And I'm just going to bring it over a little bit so it goes a little bit over onto the dark side. Hmm. And then just to see if we get some extra payoff, let's try with the finger. Oh yeah, that definitely gives you a little bit more payoff. But it does work with the brush as well. So I'll look, but I think this one might be a multi-chrome because it does give a little bit different of uh, colors here. I quite like this. All right, so let's just quickly do the bottom lash line and we're just gonna do the same two matte colors along the bottom. Match it up and then just spray just in case. I've not seen any fallout so far, but just in case. That's a phrase uh, Melissa uses a lot. It tickles your pickle. Oh, should have brought a green liner, but that's okay. We're just testing this out. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, I'm just going to take this little fine liner brush and then I'm going to gently go into dill pickles, which is that pink one. And I'm going to see what it looks like in the inner corner. Oh, that's really nice. That's a nice inner corner, inner color shimmer. Yeah, I think that's really pretty. This is really, really nice. I like this. Okay, so let's just go in closer. This is it right here. What do we think? So you can see that it's so this side here. You can see that the color is changing. So I'm thinking it has a bit of a purple cast to it. That's it there. It's really pretty. Okay, so let me just quickly hop off. I'm going to maybe do a little liner and maybe some, oh, definitely some mascara. And then we'll come back and we'll have final thoughts. So just one second. Hey, all right, we're back. I put on just a little bit of liner, a little bit of mascara, and uh, yeah, let's have a quick chat about the Sugar Drizzle Cosmetics. Pickle palette. I think it's awesome. I really like it. Look at this look. Isn't it pretty? And this color story is really nice. I actually can't wait to play with the pickle juice, which is kind of like a purple duochrome because it goes from like a, like a purple to like a red. 
These are so nice. And then, yeah, and then the dill pickle one is really cute on the inner corner. So, um, yeah, what do I think? I really like it. It's cute. Yes, it's um, hand size. So it is, is small, but I mean, how often do we go through eyeshadow palettes? And the pans themselves are a decent size. Quality is seeming really good. We'll have to see how long it lasts through the day. Um, if I remember, I will put a comment, a pinned comment down. I mean, I think I'm posting this the same day, but I might go back later and then write if there's anything regarding longevity. But at the moment, I'm really digging this palette. Um, the only thing is I'm going to have a little bit of a learning curve with the matte shadows. I think it's just me that I don't need to blend as hard as I did because I don't want to blend it away. So I think that's more of a me issue, not a palette issue. But if you have any issues, um, if you've tried this palette or anything else from them, let me know. But I do so far really like this look. So anyways, that's it for me. I hope you guys are having a fun fantastic day have some fun plans for this weekend if you'd like to give us a like comment and subscribe it would be greatly appreciated and maybe even click that notification bell if not that's okay we can still be friends you can still laugh at me as i pretend to know what i'm doing with swatches i don't and um, me play with makeup like i know what i'm doing i also don't but I'm an enthusiast. So there we go. So hope you're doing well again and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Okay.